While street art was initially considered something of a disgrace, people now realize the power it holds in a positive way. Good street art can make quite a mark on a town and society. The level of street art we're seeing coming out of the world right now is spectacular and getting better as we speak. Ah, so cool. Here, can you get a photo? From incredible 3D murals that might trick you into falling off balance to using the form as a powerful form of protest, here are 15 fantastic street arts at Another Level Part 2. <laughs> abstract Descent Keeping It Real When it comes to street art, Abstract Descent is doing his best to keep everything real. Touching on subjects such as climate crisis to the death of celebrities, this street artist puts up work that means something. His work is dedicated to the events that affect the world. He always looks for dirty, grungy places where art can change the feeling when looking for a new canvas to put up his newest work. His uplifting spray paint artwork has touched millions of people around the globe, and it keeps on stomping. One of his most recent works transformed a dark, dirty tunnel underneath Cannon Boulevard into a lit-up work of art where children can feel safe to walk and play on their way home from school. We need more people like Descent, who take pride in their community and does what he does best to bring light into it. If everyone took what they love to do to bring a little light and love to their city, just imagine what could be possible going forward. Now let's get ready for today's Missing Topic. When 3D art is done right, it can be one heck of a display. Throw one of those well-done pieces in the middle of the road, and you might just stop traffic. Of course, the photo here is a part of an art exhibit, but you can tell how that might send a driver into a panic should it just appear on the road. That's the power of art. Even though there's no actual hole in the picture, you can see how the observers move around the hole as if falling in were a possibility. Of course, that could just be to preserve the painting, but most 3D art displays like this one are interactive for photo-worthy Instagram posts. It's more likely that these humans just naturally gravitate away from anything that appears to be dangerous. If you've never seen 3D art, the mind has trouble processing the idea, which can actually make people delirious. Either way, this is just one example of the crazy good art that people are throwing up today. Have an experience with 3D art you're dying to share? Drop it in the comments and don't forget to use the hashtag missing topic to make sure you're heard. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Party Balloons by Huge I know what you're thinking. Someone just glued balloons onto a canvas and called it a day. Check this. Those balloons, even the ones that appear to be jumping off the canvas, aren't even the slightest bit real. They're entirely painted by an artist named Huge, and this is the perfect example of how compelling 3D art can be. The balloon graffiti is his unique signature style and has been painting graffiti since 1987. Of course, the laws on graffiti were quite different back then. The idea was to take traditional graffiti letters and transform them into balloons. Of course, this is much more difficult than simple letters because the balloons he chose have reflections and different proportions to deal with. Still, the outcome of his work is nothing short of extraordinary. In fact, he actually takes real balloons to the spot where he will paint them to see all the reflections that would dance across the surface. Once he's taken a picture, he takes them down and incorporates the natural reflections into the art, making it pop from its unique placement no matter its location. There's not one piece that's the same. <laughs> Kashink Kashink is one of the few females active in the street art movement. While taking on her artist persona and graffiti caricature, She's often sporting a thin black mustache she paints on her face. She always liked the idea of the French gentleman's mustache. She couldn't stand that women in culture weren't allowed to grow one or just physically couldn't, so she decided to change that by painting one on. Artists have to embody their inspiration and feel deeply, so it's no wonder she went this route. Not to mention the iconic symbol and brand she's made for herself. Her art style draws inspiration from Slavic and Hispanic traditions. Her origins, pop art and narrative illustration all are heavily presented in the streets and galleries where she often exhibits. Art exhibits from countries like Canada, the United States, and Europe are all clamoring to get her work in their halls. To counter the idea that you have to go to an exhibit to see her work, her latest exhibit is both in and outside. The point is to demonstrate the power and effect of graffiti street art on people in and out of venues. 
The art style, after all, was made for the public to be seen. If you have to pay a pricey admission fee every time you want to experience that, it goes against what the art is all about. The recent exhibit was free to the public. <laughs> the Playa Crawler Walking Chair Though this is called a wheelchair, it isn't really real, is it? This can just be called a crawling or walking chair. While it might not seem like the most practical thing in the world, it is undoubtedly a fantastic display of engineering skills at work. There are so many moving parts in this chair, it's nuts. It doesn't fall apart the moment someone sits in it. This thing can get moving when it needs to. That's definitely the type of invention you would see at the famous desert party Burning Man. Any people using a Segway at the festival after seeing this invention have some work to do on the looks of their punk aesthetic. The engineer who created it called it the Playa Crawler, and it's considered an art cart at the festival. It was constructed from laser-cut aluminum and steel. The legs were hand-designed and invented by Dutch artist Theo Janssen. Since first arriving on the scene, the Playa Crawler has turned heads and drew attention from far and wide. Anyone that goes to the Burning Man Festival should keep their eyes peeled for this walker. He might just allow you to take a ride and try the thing out if you're nice. <laughs> Insane 51's Blue and Red Art Remember those old red and blue 3D glasses? You know, the cheap kind? Well, the street artist named Insane 51 has transformed those cheap tricks into a fascinating street art display. Using the iconic red and blue paint that can be filtered by the glasses, he manages to capture some incredible pieces that end up being three art projects in one. First, there's the whole, with all colors combined and the images created. Then, there's what image appears through each colored lens. The blue is a skeleton and the red is flesh, for example. The results are nothing short of incredible. I bet you never thought you might need to bring a pair of these glasses while you're walking through your neighborhood. With artists like Insane51 putting up massive art like this, you better believe that you should. He even did some local work at the movie theater celebrating the Avengers films that were released. Those results drew more people to the specific theater to see the movie just because of his art. It was an excellent marketing stunt by the theater, but the art was still out of this world unique. <laughs> Strand Beast When it comes to artist Theo Jansen and his Strand Beast project, this artist seeks to breathe life into his creations, the so-called Strand Beasts. Skeletons of crazy-looking life forms are constructed from yellow plastic tubes. They can walk on their own and get their energy and motion from the wind. Their fluid movement sure have lifelike rhythm to them, hence Theo's breath of life notion. They've evolved since their inception in 1990 and have been divided into 12 periods of evolution. Their attributes are determined by which period they're based. You'll find the most important types of strand beasts at genealogy. The artist says that by developing this evolution, he hopes to become wiser in the understanding of existing nature by encountering myself the problem of the real life creator. David Zinn's Rainy Art Street artists are popping up everywhere and using different tools to get their work accomplished. Even chalk, keep your eye out because you never know when the artist in your neighborhood will be throwing up a new piece. The best part is that modern society has widely accepted street art and is rarely hounded by law enforcement to stop anymore. That goes double for artist David Zinn because after he's done throwing up a spectacular piece, it can be simply washed away by the rain or a hose. Yet David is still heard and the scarcity in which his pieces are created has fans clamoring for his next up. He still feeds that rebellious side where the roots of street art first flourished. The best part is he can do his work in the middle of the day, in the middle of a sidewalk, and put smile on people's faces as he works. He hopes his art helps people have a better day. Many painters and spray painters typically have to go about their business under cover of darkness. Where some artists create lasting pieces that can transcend ages, David works on more minor subjects, more relevant to the moment and now. It is for this reason that David has chosen to use washable materials. Having a bad day in the crazy world we live in? Passing one of David's art pieces could help make your day feel better and give it a chance to realize that a rare sighting like this is still possible despite the odds. It's the little things in life that can add up to excellent. <laughs> Leon Kier's Incredible 3D Murals now that street art is becoming more popular, cities ask artists to throw up their works on anything from apartment buildings to the roads that weave through the city. One of those artists is named Leon Kier, and his 3D art is turning heads around the globe. 
His art has been showcased in multiple countries, including Europe, the United States, Russia, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, and several Asian countries. In addition to using optical illusion, he often presents his art by adding new technologies, such as augmented reality and video mapping. The art is temporary, but the images are shared worldwide via social media, forever archiving them into the vaults of the internet. It just shows where people's minds are headed when it comes to the value of art in the physical realm. You don't have to own the painting for it to have value. How many people in the world do you think managed to snap a photo of this one-day art piece? If you managed to snap a photo of one of Leon's 3D murals before it faded into history, you'd be one of the few owners of an original picture of his artwork. In essence, you hold the keys to dropping it on the internet and showing the world what's up. This is certainly a new world we live in. <laughs> Adam Fujita's Neon Lights Adam Fujita has developed a technique of turning spray paint into neon lighting. By starting with a dark base and progressively getting lighter on top, he captures the look of neon lights with remarkable detail. Then, a final white line in the dead center brings everything together and really gives it that neon look. His art pops off the wall with crazy brightness. His recent neon style work explores protest and resistance through the use of street art and social media. He said the neon idea came to him during these dark times. All he could think about was keeping the lights on, and in his art, he managed to do that for an entire town. This is what art and an artist are supposed to do, to use their art to get across an idea that otherwise wouldn't be typically understood. Art is an understanding of something without really understanding anything at all. It's about feeling, and the feeling Adam left on his community was that of joy. Akash Nialani Akash Nialani is an incredible artist. Using only tape, some t-shirts, and some paint, this artist managed to turn all heads that passed by and nearly broke the internet. Just take a look at his work, and it'll be easy to see why. Blending street art and 3D art, his work displays an instinctive scene that leaves observers begging for more. The art is many factored and all elements of the art need to be considered. The actors of his pieces are set to a particular emotion in line with the emotional response desired for the piece. It reaches down deep into your soul and makes you feel something unnerving, beautiful, and terrifying. Even the words in which he describes his art as skewering humans implies a hidden message behind the whole thing. With some of the art, the humans are lifeless, their heads hanging as if they indeed died by impaling. Others are of bewilderment, interest in odd shapes and bends that form a human connection. Whether it's love, interest, music, art, or work, we're connected by many things, but none are identical. It's the fingerprint of the personality, so to speak. It is essential to find the things that join us all and bend in whichever way required to stay connected to one another, like a landline that runs through and connects us all. Maybe that's why he called the exhibit Landline. Hmm. ROA's Trapped Creature ROA is a famous large-scale black and white mural painter that's worked adorning building sides around the globe. ROA started off doing street art, painting animals on abandoned buildings and warehouses in the isolated industry areas of his hometown. His creatures can be discovered on prominent display on the sides of derelict buildings, peering out from holes in factory walls and observing from atop shutters and chimneys. He often visits London, his favorite spot, leaving many street pieces in his wake. His animals can be found on many walls across Shore Ditch and Brick Lane. His obsession with rodents and animals is apparent as almost all of his pieces include some form of critter. Where many artists are emerging from shadows, his is one of a few who still remain anonymous. According to him, to keep his art and spirit free from the constraints of social filter, he will always remain this way. <laughs> Ella and Peter Ella and Peter are known for the enormous scale art projects that can only be seen from a bird's eye view. You might think that many people are missing out on this piece, but with the internet, they're pocket-sized. As a result, hundreds of people walk over the artwork every day and don't even know. Until you zoom out, you can barely see what it is. From sleeping giants to grubby house residents, the caricatures portrayed in their work often describe particular personalities of human nature. In fact, they hold the record for the world's most giant mural, and it can be found in Paris. In 2015, they produced a 21,000 square meter mural in Norway dubbed Lilith and Olaf. A few years later, they broke their own record with a 25,000 square meter piece atop a building beneath a freeway. This is one of the most accessible paintings the duo has accomplished. 
Cacique Fernandez. Fascinated by Chile's flourishing hip-hop culture in the 1990s, Dasik Fernandez was eager to find a way to engage with its public spaces. By the age of 14, he found his answer with street art. At nearly 30, the artist is a muralist of rising fame whose works can be found across urban landscapes across the Americas. His shift from graffiti toward muralism kicked off during his student days and intensified during his travels around the globe. Although he maintains the idea that everything he paints and knows how to do in art is rooted in graffiti, he also cites 19th and 20th century artists like Van Gogh as his inspiration and idols. His work is meant to speak about what's going on globally, as his 2010 rooftop mural that protested against Arizona's controversial anti-immigration law. <laughs> Kaifa Cosimo's Giant Murals Kaifa Cosimo is a fantastic street artist in Italy. His style cleverly integrates street art murals that interact and incorporate their surroundings. In other words, he wants his work to leap from the canvas and invade the real world. If you take a look, that would be a great way to describe the feeling. He's developed his photorealistic street art techniques for quite some time, and his recent work exemplifies his practice and improvement. The faces in his murals have grown more and more photorealistic. The better his realism gets, the better his work will leap into reality. There's one thing all humans can associate with reality and themselves, it's the human face. The Crevasse The Crevasse is an incredible 3D art piece where humans can finally go and observe the edge of the world. Obviously, our world is round, so the world's edge is an impossibility. But that doesn't make human intrigue into what that might look like any weaker. If there was an edge to the world, the crevasse might look like it. It really looks like you can fall into the internal abyss. This was no simple job either. As you can see in the video, it took a village to accomplish the work. From security and permits to personnel, many people were involved. Vehicles and precise mathematical layouts were required to keep all hands on the same page. When the piece is done, it truly is a masterpiece. The process was equally gorgeous. As each layer, one upon the other, is set in its proper place, the magical crevasse emerges. It's truly incredible. Art like this should be accepted all over the world. It gives a whole new perspective to the area. The detail here is what makes the piece really shine. Streaks of long black that stretch into the darkness. Chunks of divots in the ice. You can really tell the artist put everything they had into making it convincing. Street art rep is on the up and up. Still, despite its rising reputable standing, some artists remain hidden to keep their work pure from societal input on the artists themselves. The work is separate from the artists and graffiti in particular traces its roots back to protest and rebellion. Today, a few good street art pieces can transform a slum into a valuable work of art, changing both the town and the people's lives that live there. The power of art is truly in full effect when it comes to street art, and the ones on this list are some of the best to ever touch a spray can. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox. <laughs>